Welcome to the Short Book Summaries channel. Enjoy and subscribe if you like our work. Guaranteed to perk up even the most cynical spirit. How to be happy. Damn it is the first and only self-help book that merges psychology, biology, eastern and western philosophies, quantum physics, and the zen of Bazooka Joe. Think love and happiness have passed you by? Think no schmaltzy book can help you capture the life joy you're looking for? This book is different, promises author Karen Salmonson. Peek within its colorful, uniquely designed pages, and you really will find pearls of wisdom to help you discover more satisfaction every day. And you'll find no saccharine sweetness here. This book tells it like it is, exploring the ups and downs of life in a straightforward, thought-provoking, and humorous way. How to be happy, damn it is the self-help book for people who don't buy self-help books. It may not change your life, unless you let it, but it will certainly brighten your day, even if you are a die-hard cynic. Includes 44 life lessons that will save you years of time, effort, and navel-gazing, inspiring, fanciful graphics and illustrations throughout. Karen Salmonson's book How to Make Your Man Behave in 21 Days or Less Using the Secrets of Professional Dog Trainers has sold over 450,000 copies. Years of suffering from severe depression have led to a slew of suggestions and readings for self-help. The major suggestions have been to find Jesus or to work with Marsha Linehan's dialectical behavioral therapy. For me, these methods are cop-outs and crap. The only thing that has ever been helpful that I've read has been this book. I first read it at age 15, borrowed from a therapist. Years later and four therapists passed, the only good I got out of the two years I spent working with that particular therapist, was this book. This book is amazing. It uses amazing art and design as well as some of the simplest advice and most self-holding truths. Obviously anyone with depression should be under treatment but as far as books go for irreligious cynics go, this book is an alternative to thinking about things. In fact it is, perfect. Read two or three pages a day, there you go, the agnostics bible. 